I'm a Jew. I'm the real Jew. I'm from a tribe called Judah. You're not Jewish. I think I'm Jewish, man. You're not I, Jewish. I, I pray three times a day. You're not Jewish. I, 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 I eat kosher. You see these black people out here? We the real Jews. You feel me? Not really, no. Yes. This conversation is done. Black Africans could be the descendants of ancient Israelites. But that's exactly what they appear to be. Brother and sister, they are there. We are not lost. I came into this village and the first word I heard was Shalom. Yes. Members are the original Hebrews and they were scattered, as you know, and they crossed into Africa. So they were scattered all over parts of South Africa. You find the members who are. <laughs> Two-thirds a person, great things and beatings and suffering and worsens. Black human packages tied up in strings. Black rage can come from all these kinds of things. Black rage is founded on blatant denial. Squeeze economics, subsistence survival. Deafening silence and social control. Just found in all wounds in the soul. When the dogs bite, when the bees sing, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember all these kinds of things, and then I don't fear so bad. Black rage is founded, fed us self hatred, lies and abuse. While we wait, all players are going to the most high by swimming my sweat down the Brother Spoke, great in the spirit of the most high by swimming my sweat down the shop. We're here to win souls, okay? We're here to teach our people, to edify them, to wake up our brothers, man, the so called Negro, West Indian, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Native American, Indian. Argentinian, Chileans, Panamanians, that we are the people of the Bible. We are the real Jews. We are the Israelites. Our history is the Bible. All right, what you got there? You got something right there? Give me Isaiah 34, 16. Okay. Matter of fact, give me Colossians 3, 17 first. Colossians 3, 17. We're going to show you the spirit of the Most High. Right. We're going we're gonna to show you that this Bible is our book. Isaiah 34, 16. Uh, read Colossians 3, 17, then we got Isaiah 34, 16. Okay, read it. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. Read it as it is. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, and the Father by Him. Now, do you know who Jesus is? Yeah, actually, you know, who's Jesus? Or who you thought was Jesus? Who they said was Jesus? How did Jesus look? Right. So, um, well, let's find out how he looked, because then that's how we're going to show that the so called Negro is the real Jews. Right. We, so, how can we prove that he wasn't a white man? Where can I find that out in the Bible? All right, we're going to show in the Bible that Christ is a black man. Read Isaiah 34, 16, we get the color of Christ. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, right? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Now, before, in 1992, I was looking for the truth. I always believed in the Bible. But I knew that the passage is lying. That's right. You feel me? I went to church and they never opened up the Bible, that's but quoted right. scripture for two, three hours. Come, that's what I'm saying. Right. But everything, if the Bible is the record of Christ, then every, it's the scripture and everything is in there. You feel what I'm saying? My grandmother had the image in the wall in the crib, in the house. I used to look at it like, what is this? Why is this so-called white man in, the ho in my house? All of us is black as tar. But here you got this one guy that's not a family member sitting in there looking at me and following me throughout the house. Right. I'm like, yo, what's up with this, man? Who is this guy? I never believed in that image. I knew it was a lie. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So the Bible says, read. 
Not one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. My mouth, it is commanded and is the spirit is have gathered them. So none of these shall fail the prophecies. Okay, give me Deuteronomy 2868. I'm going to show you the slave trade in the Bible. You just want to know how you know that we are the Jews and the Israelites. Because the Bible records the slave trade. Okay, the book of Deuteronomy 28 chapter talks about the blessings and the curses that's going to happen to the children of Israel for either keeping the law or breaking the law. Okay, so now anybody that's claiming to be an Israelite or a Jew, they have to fulfill Bible prophecy. That's right. Okay, so the only Jews that's recorded is the only book that the Jews are recorded in is the Holy Bible. That's right. And we have people running around saying they are the Jews. They're saying they're Jewish. Well, if they are, in fact, those people, then they must fulfill Bible prophecy. That's right. That's why the Bible says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. None of these sh sh yeah, none of these shall fail. None of the prophecies have fell and will fail. So read Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let's see what the Bible said. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Did right. you able to hear that, brother? I know the young brother can't be a fry. Did you, did you hear that? Okay, then you got to read it again. No, I don't understand, but I'm saying I'm on personal. I'm just saying. We all know. I don't know where you're from. Right. I'm from New York City, the Boogie Down Bronx. So called African American. Okay, so, so called Negro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm saying I'm from the Okay. Right. 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 That's good, brother. So, so if you so if you know your Bible, then brother, then you know that we're the real Jews, right? The, you know that Christ is black. Right. If you know the Bible, you know that we gotta keep the law, statute, commandments. And the so-called Negro in America is the real Jews, because those people that came over in cargo slave ships are Israelites. Well, I'm not uh, right. Right, but that, check this, check this, brother, check this. I'm not talking, well, I'm not, I'm not saying that you argue with me, but I'm not, are you talking about color, or are you talking about nationality? Which one are you talking about? Because if you talk about, yeah. Right, right, right. So what I'm saying to you, are we basing off our na basing our nationality off our skin tone? Because we got various skin tones right here. Right? Did you did you go over the, did you go over all the prophecies about showing how we are Israel? So maybe the right. Right. Really but, but the brother said he know the Bible. So um, we read Deuteronomy 28:68. Come. So read that verse again. How did we get, how did so-called Negroes get to the shores of America? We got to the shores of America by slave ships, okay? So we talk about those people that are direct descendants of the African slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, okay? If you say you from St. Louis, right, and you, your family came from South Carolina, and you're Negro, you a Negro, okay, period. You're a so-called black man. Right. You see what I'm saying? I mean, our people want to base their nationality off of skin tone. Right. So when you look at the Arabs, they brown skin. When you look at the East Indians, they brown skin. Right. When you look at the um, of the Polynesians, they're brown skin. Most people on the planet Earth, majority of the people on the planet Earth is brown skin. Right. Okay, D -d different shades of brown. The only people on the planet Earth that don't have that good golden brown is the so-called white man. That's right. Okay? Simple as that. He's the only person on the planet Earth that doesn't have that golden skin, that melanin, that skin tone that give you that good vitamin D. All right, when you're in the sun, you 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 look like you're fine gold, like your Irish eye. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, what are we dealing with? We're not dealing with color. The so-called European, my big brother right there, Esau, 
He the one who made and separated the nations by gender, by color. Salah. Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, called you, so called us Negroes. Black. Negro means black. From the word, a Latin word, niger, which means black. So the southern whites couldn't say niger, they said nigger. Okay? That's right. So black is black. I don't care if you say niger, nigger, negro, negro, whatever, or black, you still say black. Black is a color, it's not a nationality. That's right. Okay? And I'm not black, I'm brown. Right. Okay, so you got the wrong color, homie. Straight up and down. Okay? We're different shades of brown. Look around. Okay? But the so-called white man gonna tell you, you black, so get to the back. Your brown stick around. You see what I'm saying? And you're white. I'm, if you, when you say white, when you look up the word white, it means pure, clean, and holy. But black means dark, dirty, and evil. Well, I gotta be evil. Well, I gotta be dark. Well, you can't be dark and evil. And I'll be pure, clean, and holy. Run around with a, 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 the wrong color. Okay? When you ask a, a so-called intelligent black man, what color are you? He gonna sit there and tell you, you black. You know what I'm saying? So maybe he didn't have the 64 pack of crayons. Maybe he only had the four pack. Okay? Because I got the 64 pack and I got all the different shades of colors in there. Browns, the browns, the reds, the hot colors, everything. See what I'm saying? So there's no such thing as a nation of black people. That's right. Okay? The Africans will tell you I'm an Egyptian. I'm an Ethiopian. I'm a Libyan, I'm a South African, I'm a Mandingo, I'm a Bantu, whatever the case is, man. But we the only people running around talking about we black. That's simple, man. That's not a nationality. Then you say, who are you? I'm an African American. Those are two countries. Right. How the hell are you from Africa and you was born in America? Right. Why well, I just can't be an American? My birth certificate says I was born in the Bronx, New York. I was born in Zimbabwe. Okay, I was born in the city of New York. Okay, in the United States of America. So if I'm being anything, I'm going to be an American. That's right. But, hold on, I did some study and research that America was made by America Vespucius, the so-called white man, the map drawer. That's right. He's not my forefather. I don't have to go through my father father line to know that. Bring it out. Okay, he's a so-called white man. So I'm not taking his nationality. When you have children, you marry a woman, she takes your name. Okay, your children, your sons take your name. Okay, that's how you deal with your genealogy. You got that on Job 8 and 8? Okay, so Africa is named by Leo Scipios Africanos. Okay, that's not even the, real, the original name of that land. It's, it's called the land of Ham. I believe that's in Psalms 104. That's from the, um, the son, the younger son of Noah, which was Ham, which they call Kemet. The Egyptologists say it's Kemet. Okay, so that's not the original name of that land, Africa. Why are you trying to make me an African? When you look up the slave trade, if you Google it and type in slave trade, and you get the Google image where it says a cargo of um, slaves, a cargo of 29, or a cargo of 81 Negro slaves to be sold. It didn't say a cargo of Ethiopians. That's it didn't right. say a cargo ship of Egyptians. That's right. It didn't That's say right. a cargo ship of South Africans or whatever the case is. It says Negroes. That's right. Negroes. Bring it out. All of a sudden now, they don't know the people that lived in that so-called continent called Africa. Right? They said they were selling Negroes. Okay? The people that came over in cargo slave ships are Israelites. We the real Jews. And the reason why we came over because we broke the commandments of the Most High. And he put the so-called European up over us to punish us. That's all it's about, man. You got the Job 8 and 8? Wait. For inquire, I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of thy father. What are we doing? What have we done? Prepare ourselves ourself to the search of our fathers. So we have prepared ourselves for the search of our forefathers. We was looking for our history. I was walking around saying, why is the world like this? Why am I called a nigga? Why am I in the hood? Why white people look like their families together, the Brady Bunch? Okay, the portrait family, whatever the case is. Why everything white is good and everything black is bad? Right. Why am I in the ghettos and slums? Why am I hated? Okay, why is this white man in the house called Jesus Christ? Who is these people on the last supper? It looked like there's two women there. Right. I thought there was only 12 men. Right. There's two women there. Right. Men wear a beard, right? right. When you look at that image, there's two females in there. So somebody's lying. Somebody's playing the game. That's right. Why, you know, why Negroes is killing each other? Why, why I gotta catch a beef because I look another black man in the eye? He'd be like, yeah, you know what he's looking at, nigga? Right. What's up with that? Right. Why, why are you robbing and stealing from me? The Chinese don't never get robbed in the hood. 
they making all the money at the Chinese restaurant selling you hairy, scary wings. All right? They selling you rat and dog now. That's right. Where are, the, where are the straight dogs at? Huh? Beef fried rice? You see what I'm saying? Why you don't rob the Arabs that got all the deli stores all over damn St. Louis selling you liquor? Okay? And screwing your women. Right? And selling you drug paraphernalia. Why you don't rob them? That's right. Why you gonna rob me? I'm struggling just like you. Okay, because we're under a curse and black men hate each other. That's right. Okay? That's why you going in and out of prison. That's why you murdering each other. That's why you sleeping with each other's women. Okay? You have no respect, man. What you got, brother? Get back to Deuteronomy 2868, man. Start showing the slave trade again. And also for the uh for our brothers over here, because the so-called white man and woman, they're all they are our brothers. Their history is recorded in the Bible. Genesis the 25th chapter, verse 21. Okay? We can show you that we are brothers. Now the only thing happened is my big brother Esau, she was you became angry with me, your little brother Jacob. That's right. Okay? This, yeah. These things are recorded in the Bible. I'm gonna show you that. Deuteronomy 28, 68, right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So why they say he's gonna bring the children of Israel into Egypt again with ships? Why it says again? Again means a second time. Exodus 22. Okay, because they just came out of Egypt, serving 430 years in bondage. Right? So the Lord has given us laws, statutes, commandments, and said, if you keep my commandments, I'm gonna bless you. But if you break my commandments, I'm gonna curse you. There's two sides of a coin, man. If you're a parent and you tell your children, if you be good, I'm going to buy you the Xbox, I'm going to buy you the NBA 2K, I'm going to do this, do that. But if you don't, I'm going to give you a bond, I'm going to whip him, I'm going to put you on punishment, right? There's a consequence for going against what your parent says, right? So the most high is our father, right? So he gave us more statutes, commandments to govern ourselves so we can know how to behave and black men won't hate each other in their arrogance and pride, okay? But we suppose we are commanded to love one another. Hey, what you got? We got it. You got it? Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought ye out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. It was in bondage for 430 years. Okay? So that's why you say it back in day on 2016. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, again, a second time. This next Egypt, this next bondage is going to be the same comparison to the bondage you just came out of. With ships. But this time you're going to go how? With ships. So when Israel first went to Egypt, ancient Egypt, they went in there with Jacob and his seven souls. But this, they walked into Egypt. But this time, he said, you're going to go into bondage with ships. Now, we in a Google era now, right? If you type in slave trade, who you want to see in ships? Who you want to see in slavery? The so-called Negro. But the so-called white man, European, saying he's Jewish. But I don't understand why he's saying he's Jewish, because he wish he was a Jew. That's why I had the ISH. Okay? Pertaining to, but not really as a fraud. Okay? So what? The most I say is going to bring you Israelites into Egypt again with ships. By the way, thereof, I spake unto thee. How the Bible says, not the so-called European miseducation, but even though he showed you the slave trade. He showed you, he showed you the slave trade. Dude. Thou shalt see it no more again. What do we not see again? You got the Jeremiah? So I'm going to tell you this way, we did not see again. Read. And thou, even thou, tell me where you at. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, you're going to discontinue. You're going to be discontinued. Right? When something is discontinued, you're going to retail sales. It's no longer in existence. You can't find that item no more. It's gone. It's lost. Okay, so he said Israel is going to be discontinued. We're going to lose our righteousness. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. Slide up, slide up, slide up, slide up, slide up. Okay, the officer slide up and slide up. Okay, so the Bible says that we shall be discontinued from our inheritance. What was our inheritance? 
Genesis 32, 28, right quick. Okay? All right? And there's more on that, right? Because you got to we'll get that to the meat of that. Read that again. Okay. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Serve all what? Serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For thou hast kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. Don't it seem like we've been in America forever? He said you shall serve your enemies in a land that thou knowest not. We didn't know this land when we came over here. We was in cargo slave ships packed up like sardines. That's right. Right? Millions of us died before getting over here. Defecating on each other, pissing on each other, women on their period, mystery cycle. Right. Just imagine those conditions. Right. Traveling over the Atlantic Ocean. Like an animal. That's right. You see what I'm saying? But that's your friend. Nah, your friend wouldn't do you like that. Wait. And there ye shall go into Egypt with ships. By the way, there are my spike unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So we didn't see our homeland. We don't know who we are. You ask a so-called nigga, what's his nationality? You get all kind of nationalities. That's right. Okay? I don't want my little brother, I don't want my big brother Esau to leave. Come back. We want to talk to you too. Genesis 25, 21. But, no, nah, we ain't going there but that. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There yeah, go that word again, your enemies. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Right, right. That's in the Bible. The slave trade is in the Bible. That's right. You run in the church every Sunday to get false religion, false philosophy. That's right. Okay? Church is the after club. After club. It's the after party. Right. You was just in the party. You Saturday night dancing, making it rain, dropping like it's hot, committing adultery, murder, stealing. Right. Being a demon, wicked, and all of a sudden at 11 a.m. Sunday morning, here you are in church like you're Mary, okay? Like you're Zacharias and Elizabeth, and you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. You see what I'm saying? Because they're not teaching you how to repent, okay, to come back to follow the Most High's law, statute, commands, which make you righteous, okay? So the Bible said you should be sold unto your enemies. For a bondsman and bondswomen. What is a bond man or a bond woman? A slave. You're a slave. Okay? So what in the Bible is talking about people coming into slavery in slave ships. Right. And then when you get to this location, you're going to be sold. Hey, we got, we got a one, we got a six feet three healthy Negro right here weighing 230 pounds. 250, oh goodness, you know this man gonna be, a, he, he, he gonna be expensive. Okay, this, this man 250 pounds, 6 feet 3, solid muscles, going for 1,000, 1,050, 1,050, 1,100, 1,100, 1,100, 1,300, 1,300, 1,600, 1,700, $2,000 sold to Master Johnson. Okay? That's how we were sold. Like animals, man. That's right. And no man shall buy you. Well, you know that we not buy you. They bought you. No man shall save you. That's right. Did anybody save us? Get verse 48. Okay? Who saved us? Marcus God be tried. They shut him down. Malcolm X tried by any means necessary. Blew his head off. Martin Lucifer King said he's going to turn the other cheek. Blew his head off. The Black Panther Party said they're going to try to execute their rights here and walk around with guns. And they, the cartel program, whatever the case is, they shut them down, murdered them, killed them, put right. them in prison, right. everything, I think, shut them down. Right. Because they're not dealing with the truth of who they are. Right. Okay, the Most High ain't coming back for no Black Panthers. The Most High is not coming back for no, um, I, I have a dream Israelite. I, I, I have a dream Negroes. He ain't coming back for the Bloods, he ain't coming back for the Crips, no Baptists, Christians, none of that matters. He coming back for the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel. He ain't coming back for no skinny jeans, Negroes either. Okay, no Jehovah Wickednesses, no Pentecostals, no Mormons, no none of that. He's coming back for the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. As is written. Okay, what you got, bro? Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee. Wow, the Bible keeps talking about serving your enemies. Are we serving our enemies here in this country? That's right. Have not our forefathers woke up from eight to feet working in the cotton fields? Yeah, right. right. Right? The tobacco fields? Right? Newport, Cruz, Marlboro's? 
right? All the cigarettes y'all smoking, right, right now because you was in those cotton fields and those tobacco plants and Tropicana fields and every damn field, okay? We was working our behind off, man. You still a slave. You just a modern slave. You get up every single day and got to go to the plantation. It's called the Industrial Revolution, your job. That's right. Okay? So you think the so-called white man going to have you working for free for 250 years, and then they abolish slavery, and now this lazy damn white man, right, who didn't want to work, didn't want to get up and work on his own plantation and build his own home, right, and take care of his own children. Our black women was nursing white men's children. Right, that's right. Okay? He was so damn late. That's right, man. This word is about you, sister. You're not supposed to be with the white man. That's right. Okay, the Bible's against interracial dating. That's right. Okay? The God made a white man and a white woman. God made a Chinese man and a Chinese woman. Right. A Japanese man and a Japanese woman. Right. Your woman's supposed to look like you. You don't look like you. Okay? But our people are so destroyed that they just got to love the so-called white man. It ain't about white. Oh, here we go. Oh, here cool we go. alert is here. Hallelujah. How you say it's not about cool? Cool How you gonna say it's not about the white man? What do you brothers do for the for the night for the for the, for the community? What we doing right now? Let me tell you what we're doing. Y'all talking to the wrong brother, man. Okay. We talking to the wrong brother. Y'all talking to the wrong brother. Call that cool. So. Wow. So why is that about the white man? I'll take that back. You're not a coon. Listen, listen. That's a false witness. You're right. That's a false. I'm, 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 I'm going to take, take connection right now. You don't me to call me a coon. Right. You see that? So I'll take the connection. I'm, I'm taking the connection right now. See, here so know. now. I can help my community. You okay. Come on, brother. I said I'll take it back. So you want to uh, forgive me? I forgive you. Okay. So now, I'm up there speaking it's, the Bible. It's one race. Right? Hold on. The human Hold race. Hold on. Uh, the human race. There's only one, one race. The human race. So... Give me uh, a... <laughs> man, brother. We got, we, got, we got the scripture. Let's get it, man. There's only one race, huh? Where, what source? Where, what is your source? What is your source? My source is the Bible. What's going on, bro? What's going on, brother? I don't have a religion. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. You can't do that, man. Hold on, man. If I check correctly, Come on, brother. Only black people are the ones <laughs> who are the oppressing each other. Black people are the only ones robbing and killing each other. Drink, we're gone. Come on, hallelujah. Drink, we're gone. Come on. We're side blacks. Right. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. Y'all just see the wrong doctor. It's the human right. Me and you. Me and you. Black men are blessed. We are blessed. You right. We are blessed. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me show you how we're blessed. Do it on the 76. Let me show what you said is right. Do it on the 76. Wait. Do it on the 76. Do it on the 76. We are blessed. Watch this, bro. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh our higher come. The Bible says we are holy people. We, Yahweh, thy power has chosen me to be a special people. So if you're special, then you must be blessed. The Most High said Israel is special. We. Unto himself, above all people. So, what, what is the black man? He's special, and he's above all people. So, that's how it is more, more than one race. Then read it. Above all people. Thou upon the face of the earth. The Bible says the black man is special and above all people. Give me Isaiah 40, 15. Give me Isaiah 40, 17 right quick. Isaiah 40, 17. Well, you just read the Bible, so you don't believe in the Bible, right? I don't believe in no religion. Okay, so why are you standing here then, bro? We're dealing with the Bible. We're dealing with the Bible. We're not dealing with metaphysics, man. We're dealing with concrete, biblical Bible prophecies. What you got? Give me all my Isaiah 8, 20. So you keep cutting that air. What you got? You are like being living a human experience. You got Isaiah 40, 15? You are like being living a human experience. Cry, cry, how are you? When my heart can't get the mic, the demons come out at night. How are you? How are you? Let's read. Ain't no white man oppressing you. Isaiah. Black people oppress black people. Chapter Why do you want to see protests when a little girl on the shot in the eye? When it's 56 God. murders Isaiah Chicago, chapter 8 verse 20 men do To the law and to the people Brother, can you hear this right quick? I'm going to address your point To the law and to the testimony it was 56 If they speak not on this part It is because there is no right 
in them. So we're dealing with the Bible. We're going to deal with the black man, too. Let's deal with the black man. Do the right 2854. You're right. You're right. Black men are all pressing each other. Give me all, give me all my Isaiah 3. Give me Isaiah 3 and 12. Wait. Do the right me. 28. Verse 54, so that the tender man amongst you, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brethren. So he's right, because the black man is evil towards his brother. Read again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 54, so that the tender man amongst you, and his eyes shall be, the tender man is very delicate, the tender and delicate man, his eyes shall be evil towards his brethren. Listen up, listen up. We know what's going on in the black community. We know that black men is killing each other. We know that black men is stealing from each other. We know that black men are oppressing their own community. That's why we stay here to teach you the law, statute, and commandments. We're not dealing with no damn metaphysics. We deal with what's real in your damn face, man. Okay? You got a script to read it, brother. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. And there is no other God to these so-called Negroes, Western, and Spanish, and Puerto Ricans. Okay? Our Father's name is Yahweh by some of my Okay? And the reason why you black men are being destroyed by yourselves because you broke the commandments. Listen to this. I'm going to address your point. Read. Read it again. We're going to show you black on black crime in the Bible. Black on black crime in the Bible. Read. And so that the man that is tender amongst you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brethren. So the black man's eye is evil towards his brothers. Black men are evil towards their brother. It's written in the Bible. So we understand your point. We understand your point. Are you listening? Listen, brother. I want you to listen to this. So listen, listen to this. What he's saying is right that we are pressing each other. You got the Isaiah 3 and 12? Isaiah 3 and 12. Okay. Right. That's what we're talking about. Come on. We agree with that. Read. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Listen, brother. He came over here. I'm standing here. Listen. Listen, listen, brother. Listen. Exactly. But I'm over here. I'm over here trying to teach my people. You sitting here. He's coming over here with his doctrine. You see what I'm saying? He's talking about metaphysics. He's talking about. Listen. Yeah, but I'm over here teaching. The, listen, the so-called white man is standing here. Teaching, I, I, I doubt if we would go over there and challenge them. Okay, but black people, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. I know. That's why we are here to teach you, brother. What do we know about ourselves? That's why I'm here to tell you. That's why I'm here to tell you that you're the real Jews and Israelites. See, focus on what we're trying to tell you right now. He said, he said that we, he said that, listen, okay, listen, listen, check this out, okay, come on. He said that black men is killing each other, right? All right, so that's in the Bible. We're going to read it again. We're going to show that black people, listen, listen. There's plenty, there's plenty, because the devil want to keep the truth from you. The white man wants to keep the truth from you. Right, and the so-called white man is the devil, which means deceiver. But when you diligently research what you're dealing with, the Bible was the King James 16 the level was translated from the Hebrew, the original Hebrew. You understand that? So we got the right translation. Now when they came with English translations off the King James, they were trying to water down the Bible. You see what I'm saying? When you get the King James 16 the level, it matches up with the Torah. Okay? So we know what the so-called white man is doing because we don't want you to come back to the knowledge of who we are as a people. So you know what I'm saying? So let me show you that the all the our, our people will oppress each other. Read that Isaiah 3. Read that. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So as for my people, the Bible says children are their oppressors. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So children are oppressing you in your own communities. Okay, read. And women rule over them. Now when you look at our, our community, brother, women are basically running the household. So there's no male figures there to keep the children in order. That's right. So these young men are running a muck in their own community. You see what I'm saying? Don't even feel that, brother. Stay here because the most I want you to hear. Let them do what they do. You see what I'm saying? Let them do what they do. 
You know what I mean? Good. Right. But guess what? You here try to get this knowledge. You feel what I'm saying? Read that again from the top. Isaiah 1. I mean 3. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. See what the Bible said? As for my people, the Israelites, children are their oppressors. So when he said we oppressing each other in our code, that's facts. That's the Bible. That's a... Two-thirds a person, great things and beatings and suffering and worsens. Black human packages tied up in strings. Black rage can come from all these kinds of things. Black rage is founded on blatant denial. Squeeze economics, subsistence survival. Deafening silence and social control. Just found in all wounds in the soul. When the dogs bite, when the bees sing, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember all these kinds of things, and then I don't fear so bad. Black rage is founded, fed us self-hatred, lies and abuse, while we 